Hello and welcome to today's really important Bitcoin technical analysis where we are going to be going over the pattern on the Bitcoin chart right now that could see a massive breakout within the next 24 to 48 hours. So I hope that you really enjoy this video. We're going to dive straight into the pattern as it is forming right now on the Bitcoin chart. We're going to take a look at this together. So I hope that you really enjoy this video and let's get into the analysis. So what we have in the Bitcoin chart right now is the triangle. If you know from last night's video, Trader R gave us this wonderful fractal pattern where we were looking for another move to the downside before coming up to the trend line once more, putting in the high low, potentially breaking to the upside. I want to now put this back on the chart so you can all see this right now. We're taking our trend line from the high on the 10th of January moving this down through the highs as you can see here right now we are right on this resistance as you can see the first touch of the trend line we get the second touch of the trend line and now you can see we are really grinding up against this resistance another touch of the trend line rejection another touch of the trend line rejection and another touch of the trend line right now as we're speaking on the bitcoin chart so this is a very 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 big resistance right now to clear what i'm going to do to make this really easy to understand is i'm actually going to make this red we're going to mark this as our resistance on the chart and then looking at the bitcoin fractal that trader r gave us in last night's live stream we know that this was coming up to around our 12 12 a.m low and we're going to expand this along the lows so if we just expand this along the lows really simply what we had was that low put in last night at 12 p.m and we are expanding this to give us our support trend line we're going to mark this in green for support and you can see here we have now three touches of resistance well coming coming on nearly five touches of resistance we have our two touches of lower support so this is a pattern that is really likely to break within the next well we, we can arguably say within the next 12 hours really before we get a decisive break okay and the the targets to the upside of this if we take a generous uh well let's just say let's take our conservative price target first and we're going to take it from the low of the 11th of january and expand this to the high which was made on the 12th so within that 12 hour period we're going to then expand this to the breakout and this gives us if we break to the upside a target of about forty one thousand two hundred dollars okay so that would be our target for the upside and i want to give you the target for the downside if we do get rejections off of this top trend line the target to the downside of this pattern would be about twenty six thousand seven hundred dollars so the two levels to be really aware of if we break to the upside of this pattern we're going to be looking for around forty one thousand two hundred dollars if we break to the downside of this pattern we are going to be looking for around twenty six thousand eight hundred dollars that region okay the region of the lows and the region of the highs those are our price targets for this price pattern as you can see right here we're going to come down to the one minute chart on the one minute chart you can still see we are getting rejections from this level each time we're tapping it we are getting pullbacks so this is a really big resistance to be aware of at the moment um you know it's really 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 exciting how this is uh, you know the, the levels are just being so well respected and what i want to remind you of is last night when we were going through the bitcoins the new really bullish bitcoin pattern how we were getting respect from the cc i want to show you one more time where we bounced off of last night we're going to take our fibonacci okay so our fibonacci retracement from the low of the move on the 11th of january up to the high of the move once more on the 12th of january i want you to see this respect ladies and gentlemen this is the cc once again acting as support for a bounce support for a bounce and then we touched the cc one more time for another bounce to the upside to bring us up to this resistance trend line i mean the the technicals here are amazing but i want to show you one more i want to show you one more extremely amazing pool here and what we're going to do is we're going to take the fibonacci retracement once more from the high of this move on the 12th of january to the low that was put in last night and look at this ladies and gentlemen we come into the cc once again to the dollar here to get the rejection so what we're seeing is a lot of confluence we were seeing really big support at this cc and then we're seeing really big resistance at this cc and again this is very 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 accurate the way that we are getting these rejections so this this for me is such an important really 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 important triangle to be looking at right now on the bitcoin chart but there is one thing that i want to make you really 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 aware of right now and that is 
I have a lot of experience trading Bitcoin. So I've been trading Bitcoin. I've been trading in total for 10 years. I've been trading Bitcoin religiously for the past few years. I'm trading it every, every, every day, every hour of the day, and I'm absolutely loving it. But there's one thing that is really important for me, and that is when we see a pattern like this, I feel that this is a pattern that a lot of people are looking at. Okay, so the pattern itself of the triangle is nothing new. This is a well-seen pattern. And there's one thing that I want to make you very much aware of that you have to be monitoring on this pattern. And that is, we could see this fake out of the pattern because when so many people are looking at the same pattern, it increases the probabilities that it will actually get a fake out. So what do I mean by this? What I mean is you need to take a little bit of care if you're long in the breakouts because what there is a probability of seeing here is actually a break to the upside that will look really bullish only for it to dump straight back down. This is a pattern that we see a lot of times on Bitcoin when it forms a very obvious triangle. It will regularly do a fake out to get people into their longs before pushing it back to the downside. The same does apply, obviously, for the lows, that we could get a break of the lows to get everybody really bearish before actually reversing it to the upside. That is one slight thing on the charts that you need to be very aware of and there is a way to know whether the breakout is legit and you should actually be looking to trade with the break of the triangle or whether you should be looking to fade which basically means be very careful on the breakout and maybe look to actually take the counter of what you one would expect and that is you're going to have to be monitoring the volume i'll be monitoring the volume on the break how big is the volume on the breakout what we'd be doing is going into our you know our our you know our, our footprint software and we would be monitoring here okay so how much volume comes on the breakout as you can see right now the average one minute candle is about one million dollars okay on a, on an on an average period one million so if we start to get a very big volume spike upon the breakout that is a level of confirmation so actually looking to take that step of confirmation to verify is this a legit breakout or is it a fake out i do want to make you really aware everybody that fake outs happen a lot on the bitcoin chart so this is just one thing that i really do think you should be aware of okay that's really important just to try and verify that volume on the breakout and think to yourself is this a fake out of the pattern everybody looking at the triangle will we get this fake out of the pattern which looks to break towards the upside before coming straight back down the only way that you're going to be able to really confirm this is by looking at the volume okay so the volume and open interest two massively key factors that can give you such an edge in trading whereas many people would just be simply looking at the chart that we have here and thinking this is a breakout and you can verify if it is a legit breakout by looking at the open interest, by looking at the delta and looking at the volume. Three very important factors that I just want to make you aware of as we look to get this breakout within the next few days. Uh, obviously, the CC here, still big resistance, still big support. These are just a few levels I really wanted to bring your attention to in today's video. Obviously, we still do have the potential Gartley pattern, which would bring you down towards, obviously, our lower levels of support. So I just, uh, you know, I really wanted to bring you this video to really make you aware of the triangle that we have going on right now, the potential of the fake out, how to counter really the fake out. And those really key levels should we break to the upside and there is no fake out, so the, the, the target to the upside. And should we break down with no fake out, the target to the downside. I feel that this is a really exciting pattern. Really, really, really am looking forward to this one. Um, and what I'm going to say, everybody, in this video is we have been doing a few live streams lately and uh, we've been talking you through the price action as it's happening giving you the levels as they are forming the really important supports the really big resistances and people are making money during these live streams we had a lot of comments in the last video of people making money during the live stream which is absolutely wonderful and then we've had people coming over into the free discord to also say thank you for the video um and that was obviously off of the back of hitting our target for the last video that I made. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another target in this video. And I'm going to say in this video, if we can, last time it was 300, I'm going to say if we can get to, let's say 600 likes on this video, I will do another live trading stream for you all. We'll bring across the crew and we will do another live trading stream for you all. So if you want to see another live trading stream from me, well, we'll be going over these patterns 
as they are forming, as they are breaking to help you. Is this a real breakout or is this a fake out? You can smash up those like buttons and uh, remember to tick the bell and subscribe so you do not miss that video as we go live. We'll try and get 600 likes on this video and I will do that live stream for you all. Um, so I feel this is a really, really key moment to be aware of. You want to know what's happening. Is it a fake out? Is it a real legit break? As we are still currently finding resistance on this trend line. I'm not going to edit this video. I'm going to get this uploaded straight away so you can be aware of the content because it's very time sensitive information. Uh, one last thing that I want to make you aware of, and that is that we do have the Contenders live stream tonight. So if you're interested in the Contenders live stream, which is an educational live stream where I'm going to be talking about and explaining the difference between log scale and normal scale when you use log, when you use normal. And I'm also going to be going through an EOS chart of the week. So if you want to know my entry, stop loss and the target on EOS, I will be giving that setup tonight in the Contenders live stream. I'm very, very much looking forward to this one. I feel it's going to be an absolutely wonderful setup. But that's another bit of information if you're interested over at chartchampions.com. I want to say to end here, thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you have an absolutely brilliant day. And I'm going to have to upload this video straight away. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.